we're going to talk about rifles made to hunt. I feel that this is very important because I see things getting completely off base here. People wanting rifles with big tactical stocks on them, heavy barrels, two and three pound or heavier scopes, guns that maybe weigh 12 or 13 pounds. Those simply are not rifles that are made to hunt. I'm a hunter. I walk, I hunt, I stalk, pursue game, and I want a rifle that I can carry, a rifle that I can carry conveniently, a rifle that comes up to my shoulder properly, with a scope that's mounted properly, a scope that's mounted down as low as possible, so when that rifle comes up and my cheek is placed on the comb of the stock, that it lines up with the scope. These are rifles that are made to hunt. I started out my early hunting life with a pre-64 Winchester Model 70. Like this rifle right here. This happens to be a 300 Weatherby. It was a 300 H and H Magnum rechambered to 300 Weatherby many, many years ago. I've simply replaced the wood stock with a Borden Rimrock stock. These stocks are no longer made, but they're nice simple stocks. All fiberglass stocks, very, very quality stock. Has, has good lines, a nice slim grip, a nice slim fore end. They're fairly lightweight stock, has a nice, has a nice cheek piece. McMillan makes a stock almost exactly like this in various styles and it's also a very very good choice for a hunting rifle. This particular rifle has a 3 to 9 Leopold on it. This is a this is a Varix 2 scope and with a dot reticle. 30 Seven years ago, I discovered dots after hunting for nearly 20 years. I love, I love scopes with a dot reticle. This is a rifle set up with a pop-up peak. You can swing the scope off of this mount. It's a Leopold mount. It allows you to access your open sights in case you get in trouble and something happens to your scope and you're off hunting someplace, you've got open sights. I only have open sights on two of my rifles for this purpose, in case I get in trouble someplace. I've got basically on, on my scope, drop information out to 500 yards, because I think 500 yards is a pretty long poke and just simply carry a good quality small range finder in my shirt pocket and range find to be able to, you know, shoot game. That, this is one aspect of a rifle. This is one of my complete custom rifles. This happens to be a rifle that I built about 35 years ago. No more like 40 years ago, come to think about it. This is a, this is a Mauser action. This is 270 Winchester. This has got a nice classic clear walnut stock, point pattern checkering, nice slim forend, nice slim grip. This has an early scope on it. This is a two and a half to eight Bosch Loam Belvar 8A with a Leopold adjustable scope mount. Nothing to go wrong with the adjustment system in the scope. I still use this rifle today and it works excellently. Yeah, it's old, but it's like it come right out of the box because I take care of my rifles. This rifle is in excellent, excellent shape and I've hunted for years with this rifle and killed game with this rifle 
These are hunting rifles. This is what you hunt with, not a, a rifle that's got a big heavy scope on it. And this is all the, all the power, all the power that you need to be able to hunt. In fact, I've done a lot of my hunting with just simply with a straight six power scope. So rifles like this, this is what I mean made to hunt. This rifle also has a trap butt, trap butt plate, got three extra cartridges in the butt here. You got four in the magazine, three in the butt. I probably carry an extra four in a cartridge carry on my belt. I'm all set. I've got a scope. The low end is two and a half power, the high end is eight power. When I'm slipping through the timber in grizzly country, my scope isn't on eight power. My scope's down on two and a half power. If I've got to come up quick with that rifle to use it, I can use it. People pick some of these scopes, you know, starting out at six power on the low end and maybe up to 20 some odd power on the high end. Those are not hunting scopes. They were intended for hunting. I'm not telling you you can't hunt with something like that. It just certainly isn't a very good choice. This is what's a good choice, is something along this line. And, you know, I can build a rifle in almost any configuration, from lightweight rifles, just the rifle itself weighing around six pound, plus the scope maybe bringing it up to just shy of a seven pound type rifles. This rifle here is an eight and three quarter pound rifle. The other rifle here is a nine pound rifle. Plus when you put cartridges in them in a sling, you got just a little bit more weight. But they handle well, they carry well, and they point well and both of them have 26 inch barrels and you know barrel length I guess is kind of a personal choice but these are two of my favorite calibers is a 270 Winchester a 270 Winchester with a 26 inch barrel you virtually got a Magnum loaded properly it's a very very good choice we're on the subject of 270 calibers. The 270 Weatherby is an outstanding cartridge for a lightweight rifle. You can you can barrel a 270 Weatherby with with a 24 inch barrel, perhaps a muzzle brake if you like one, and have a nice light rifle, even a seven pound rifle, that will handle and carry well. You know, this is one of the calibers that I recommend. In, in a lightweight, carry, no-nonsense hunting type of a rifle. Everybody kind of got their their ideas and choices and one thing and another, but these choices that I'm pointing out here to you are based on hunting 55 years. I know, I know what works. I, I have a 270 Weatherby. I've had very, very good luck with that, and everybody that I build a 270 Weatherby for in one of these lighter weight rifles. They just absolutely love it. And I actually think that the 270 Weatherby is a better, more accurate cartridge than the seven millimeter Remington Magnum. And you know, you can you can load bullets designed for game from 110 grain Nosler Acubons up to 160 grain Nosler partitions in that cartridge and that will allow you to hunt just about anything that you want to hunt anywhere. And we've got a lot of other choices. We'll build anything that you would like. I love the larger seven millimeter cartridges, such as the seven by 300, whether it be the seven millimeter STW and the seven millimeter 404 Wapiti Express that I that I designed and developed years ago. I don't offer that chambering to anybody because of all the things involved to come up with the ammunition. It's ballistically the same as the other two I just mentioned. And I also like to hunt with 30 
larger 30 caliber magnums. Have a number of those in 338s and properly made, properly built, you know, anything that is right for hunting game, we shouldn't have to have over about a nine pound, a nine pound scoped rifle to be able to do any of this hunting. And they should be simple, classic tiled rifles or maybe with a fairly high rollover comb or a Monte Carlo type of a comb that still allows you to have a light rifle. These bulky things, it doesn't take long for people to figure out that they're just much, much too, too heavy. And I guess that, you know, if you're just shooting from a stand, you're positioned and you sit there for hours, maybe something like that works. Probably real tough to get into a stand with one of those heavy rifles, but you know, I guess that would be your, your choice. I don't happen to, you know, do my hunting that way. I, I locate game maybe from a distance and stalk it or wait on pathways, wait on pathways where they migrate to maybe, maybe, maybe come through and, and so forth. But there's nothing more exciting, really, than slipping up on, slipping up on game at 40 yards in the timber and killing your game cleanly in the timber. That's what hunting is. And I think that there's people that have never learned to hunt. They just want to set someplace and maybe want to want to snipe. And this is where we've kind of got off of, got off base here. Just to have no, people have no hunting skills and picking some of these big, heavy, ungodly rifles to try to maneuver around. That's really not hunting. And anyway, that's, that's, that's my feelings on, you know, rifles made to hunt.